What is up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another fat juicy video, okay? As you guys can see by the title, the title is really explicit because I mean what the fuck I say it, okay? Do not wear these 11 cents if you do not want to be pregnant. I, I am so serious, okay? And don't you dare say, well girl, why aren't you pregnant? Because I'm on birth control, duh. Okay, but if you are not on birth control, okay, and you're not doing anything to prevent pregnancy, do not wear these scents, okay? Because these top 11 scents that I'm about to show you are going to blow your mind. That's how good they smell, okay? And these are all floral scents as well. So if you're not a floral type of girl and you like to smell like, you know, really woody and warm and smell like musk, you can go ahead and click off this video, honey, because this is not for you, okay? This is for the floral girlies and the floral girlies only, okay? Because that's all I wear. I am obsessed with floral scents, okay? That is all I wear. And these are my top 11 favorite that I want to recommend to you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the cheapest ones and then go to my most expensive ones like towards the end. I don't want to start off with my most expensive ones first and kind of like shock value you. Like, girl, why would you pay that much for perfume? <laughs> so we're going to start off with the cheapest one, which is my travel size, Ness Wild Poppy perfume, okay? I need to get the bigger one. I don't know why I'm still holding on to the travel size one, but let me tell you guys, when I wear this, I have literal people chasing me down the street asking me what I'm wearing. I think I have talked about this perfume before on this channel. This smells amazing. I mean, this is like the best scent of the Ness Wild Poppy fragrances, like hands down, in my opinion. Like, I love this shit, okay? It is retail for $32 at Sephora, and the key notes that are in this perfume is Rose de Grassi. I don't know if I said that right. Himalayan Jasmine and Pearl. I smell more of the Himalayan Jasmine and the Rose more than I do smell the pear. I said Pearl. I mean pear. I smell the Himalayan Jasmine and the Rose more than I do the pear. It's more florally than it is fruity, but that's what I love about it, okay? I don't mind fruity scents, but floral scents, that's what I want, okay? That's what my nose wants, and this gives it to you, okay? The thing that reminds me of this is the Garden of Eden. If if I was alive back then and I got the smell of the Garden of Eden, this is what it would smell like, okay? This is what Adam and Eve walked around smelling like until Eve ate that. We not even gonna go into that because she pisses me off. Anyway, this smells so good, like absolutely amazing. So definitely check this out. I believe the bigger bottle from this is $90, so it is expensive, but if you are obsessed with floral scents and you wanna smell good this spring and summer, check this out okay because baby this does not play okay so my next favorite scent is the way melrose plays oh this is such a like fresh out the shower perfect scent like it is so classy and just very pretty this is retailing at sephora for 64 dollars, and the key notes that are in this is champagne bergamot <clears throat> And rose, okay? And now that I'm also looking at the keynotes as well, it also says in the about section that this is a very velvety, rich rose fragrance that has hints of the bergamot, lychee, cinderwood, and white musk. So I didn't even know it had like cinderwood and white musk in it because you know, I don't really with those scents. But I, you cannot smell that in here, okay? This would actually be a beautiful, like, I'm not even joking, a bride scent. I know, I know, like, if you're getting married and let's say like you're having an outdoor wedding, any type of formal thing that you wanna go to and you already look classy and elegant and you want a very floral, elegant scent to you, this is the one you want, okay? Cause this smells amazing. Great, great choice. All right, so the next scent that I'm gonna show you that I love, I'm kinda kicking myself in the face from what I said earlier of me not liking you know, woody, must warm scents. Because this one I'm about to show you has like a lot of warm notes in it. This is the L'Oreal Mercier perfume. I cannot pronounce the name and I'm not even gonna try, okay? I'm not even gonna put myself through that. This is retailed at Macy's for $90. You cannot find this at Sephora. And the key notes that are in this is Vanilla Orchard, Vanilla Lic Licorice, Vanilla Musk, um, bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber to create a rich, luxurious fragrance with an unexpected twist. And this is exactly what this is. Like, this is another very, very classy scent. But now that I'm reading what the actual notes are, I'm not surprised that it has a little like cinderwood and like musk in it because you could definitely smell the cinderwood and vanilla. But for some reason, this still gives me floral. Like, I don't know. 
This is the nicest vanilla cinderwood must perfume I've ever smelled in my life because I usually try my best to stay away from perfumes that smell like that. But they have done a great job of mixing this well enough that you do not even smell the cinderwood and the vanilla. Unless like my nose is just fucking broke. But this smells amazing. Okay, so the next scent is another scent that is part of the Nest Collections. This is the Nest New York Turkish Rose Perfume Oil. Now, I didn't even know perfume oils would hit like this, okay? This one is another very, very pretty... Oh, oh. Like, this smells amazing. This is another very pretty, like, very soft, elegant smell. It smells just like Turkish Rose, okay? This is retailed at Sephora for $98. And the key notes that are in this is dewy Turkish Rose, black plum, and blonde woods. You cannot smell the woods at all. So the woods are extremely blonde, okay? They're not there. All right, they're very light, very, very light. <laughs> you smell the rose more than anything. Oh my gosh. Like the way I like to layer this is I'll put the drops of the oil like all on my heat points, which is your your wrist, you know, under your neck. I put it also right here too. Anywhere like where you have a pulse, where you can find a pulse you want to spray your perfume at. So I'll put this on every part of that and then I'll go behind it with like another rose. Like I'll layer it with my Way perfume or I'll layer it with my Wow Poppy. They both have the same notes and I only layer it if it has the same notes in it. Oh my gosh, like the radiance of the fragrance, like you're gonna have boyfriends lining up for you at the door with a ring on their knee. But I'm not kidding, like this smells so good. Like I, I need to smell this again because I forgot about the scent. Oh my, mm, mm, mm. okay. We're gonna sit that right there because that's that's b all right. So the next scent is the J Malone London Secrutra Cherry Blossom. I know I botched that word. Okay, I'm gonna have all the words, all the perfume names. I'm gonna have them written on the screen because I'm botching everything. Okay, I swear I have a degree. I swear. This is retailed at Sephora for $82. And the key notes that are in this fragrance is bergamot, cherry blossom, and rosewood. I smell the cherry blossom in this like crazy. This is another very pretty, very light scent. I stumbled upon this scent just like walking around in Sephora. I wasn't even planning on buying anything. And then I stumbled upon this and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this. I am not a big cherry person, but this is a great fruity scent. Like I said, if you like fruity scents and your favorite scent is cherry, get you the J Malone one, okay? The pink one, all right? Because this smells amazing, okay? This reminds me so much of the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume, the one in the blue bottle, but in luxury. It smells just like cherry cotton candy. That is how I can describe it, like cherry cotton candy, like for real. But I don't f with the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume anymore. Her and SpongeBob can go to hell. <laughs> they can. Anyway, get you, definitely grab you this one if you love floral scents because this smells delicious and your man is gonna love this on you. The next perfume is another warm and spicy scent. That's what I get for talking about the warm and cinderwood girls because now I'm reading all these keynotes and basically half of these perfume have wood in it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, the next perfume is Glossier You. This perfume is retailed at $72 at Sephora and the keynotes that are in this is Pink Pepper, Iris is in Amrock. Amrock, A-M-B-R-O-X. This was going viral on TikTok. Everyone and their mother was talking about this perfume, so I decided to go check it out and buy it, and I did not like it at first. And I think the reason why I didn't like it is because you could really smell the, the woody, earthy scent and the warm scent in this. Like, this is a very pretty, warm, earthy scent with just a tiny bit of, like, floral. I can smell the iris and the pink pepper a lot in this. So this had to grow on me because at first this was giving grandma on first Sunday church vibes at first. And then I start wearing it and then people started coming up to me like, girl, what are you wearing? And then my boyfriend started saying, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? And I'm like, whoa, get off me. <laughs> you catch my drift, my drift. This is a smell that people are gonna ask you, what are you wearing? Because all of a sudden I started getting so a bunch of questions of what I'm wearing. And then it kind of grew on me. You know, people kind of like encouraged to smell on me. And I'm like, okay, 
maybe this is, you know, maybe this does smell good. If you are a warm cinderwood, um, earthy scent kind of girly, you're gonna check this one out because this one smells really good. This is not really in the floral scents, but this is like the only one in my collection that I have that is not as floral as you think. I might have one more that's not that floral, but we're gonna get to that one, I think. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you is not a perfume, it is a body cream, okay? This is the Fenty Body Cream Perfume that smells amazing. Rihanna, what? Now I know why you have two kids, honey. ASAP said, give me that ASAP right now. Oh, amazing. This smells so good. It is retailed at Sephora for $86. And the key notes that is in this lotion or cream is Mongolian musk and Belgaro, B-U-L-G-A-R-I-A-N, rose, okay? And I can really smell the, the, the B word that I can't say, rose, in the Mongolian. Oh, this is so another very light pretty scent okay this is another scent that is very very radiant i mean it lasts all day and this is so moisturizing like as soon as i put this on my skin i'll layer it with like another rosy scent and the smell lasts all day and that's the best way to really layer your scents is put on a lotion or a type of oil first then you put on your perfume so it can last longer oh my gosh you don't have to layer this if you don't want to because the smell is immaculate okay i get so much compliments and my boyfriend also tries to take me down when I put this on too. And I just be like, no, you know, I smell good. I don't want you to ruin me with your stench, okay? So this is another great one, okay? Rihanna did her thing with this one because I love this stuff. As you can see, I have been dipping in this like crazy. All right, so the next thing I'm about to show you is a classic one. I mean, everyone and their mother has this one, but this one smells really good. This is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Perfume. This smells so good. Another very light, classy scent. This is retail at Sephora for 105, and the classic notes that are in this is, ooh, how do you pronounce that word? Uh, rose, punony, pu pu puny? And white musk, okay? I know I botched that, shut up. Anyway, this smells really, really good. Like I said, everyone and their mother has this perfume. This reminds me of Dior Savage, how every man in the whole world has Dior Savage. Even my boyfriend has Dior Savage. But yes, this is another really popular one, but it's popular because it smells good. Just like the Dior Savage cologne smells really good. Like, let's just be for real. That one smells really good too. But I really like this one. This is, like I said, another classic, another very light, pretty one that if you wear this in front of a man, you're going to be pregnant. Hands down. Okay. Yes. Get her. She's cute. She's doable. She's travel size and she will get you pregnant. All right, so now it's time to get into my more expensive ones. We only have three left to review. And the first one that I'm gonna review that's priced at 205 is the Burrito Gypsy Water. Now, I bought this one from a, like a boutique in Chicago, but you can get this one for 205 at Nordstrom. This is the Burrito Gypsy Water perfume that has the notes of amber, vanilla, and sandal wood. This one is my, my expensive one that is another like woody one that I have, but I smell the amber and vanilla more than I do the sandalwood. This smells really good though. This gives me like, this is a very, very light, but this is more of a fruity smell than it is florally. And this, this smells so good. Like it's literally gypsy water. It smells like smell good water. It's very, very light, very, very elegant, very luxurious. And I love how this smells. As you guys can see, I do not spray this one a lot because this one is not cheap. But if you're looking to try to get into the more like luxury and more high price perfumes, you need one from this brand because this brand in general has really good perfumes, especially if you are a earthy scent, woody, warm tone kind of girl. You're gonna love this brand because they, that's like their motto, like warm, earthy scents. And this is the only one that I like from their line that is really good. I do know that they have a rose scent one. I'm gonna check that one out and see how that one smells because I wanna try one of their floral scents. But this is a really good warm, earthy tone scent one. So definitely check this one out. Okay, the next perfume I'm about to show you I paid $400 for this perfume, okay? But I got gypped, okay? Because I'm looking online and Nordstrom's have this perfume for $190. Oh 
I want my money back. Okay, the perfume that I'm talking about is the Delaney, Delaney La Rose Perfume um, by D. Marley. You guys, when I say this one, you need to walk around some protection on you when you wear this because you are going to literally have a stalker on you when you put this on. You are literally all night going to be repeating that word, Delamali, 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 okay? Because that is how many times people are gonna ask you, what are you wearing when you wear this? I'm not joking. I'm not joking, okay? The key notes that are in this is Turkish rose, Pinoy and transparent flowers. You guys, like this, do you even, like look at this bottle. Just look at the bottle. You can tell this is no joke. This is no joke, okay? Even the top for this is heavy. It feels like a marble, it's a heavy top. But this, <sighs> man, this is gorgeous. Now, this one, I didn't even know, this one also does for the base, notes this one also does have like a soft wood white must smell and now that i'm really like smelling it i can smell the white must a lot but i also can smell turkish rose in it too i mean this is such a beautiful blend okay this is made in france and i can tell because i said wee oui, wee oui. and 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 i don't know any other french words okay i didn't take french in high school i took spanish um but wee oui, wee oui. We, we, we. Okay, please get this. This smells amazing. Amazing. All right, and go to Nordstrom for the price. Do not get gypped and pay $400 like I did because I'm going back to get my money back. Period. But please get this. <laughs> and last but not least, for the most expensive perfume that I have in my collection is Creed White and Love. This is retailed for $800. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't log off the video. I know, I know. Hold on. Don't log off. I did not pay 800, okay? I went to the perfume center in the middle of the mall and got it for 425, okay? <laughs> now, I know 425 is still pretty expensive, but it's way better than $800, okay? Period. And actually, my boyfriend bought me this for Christmas, so I didn't even pay for it. He paid 425. I mean, Creed is like luxury of luxury okay my boyfriend is a huge cologne connoisseur and he is the one who put me on creed creed is like one of his favorite brands to wear and i didn't even know creed made female fragrance like i thought it was just all colognes and one day me and my boyfriend was walking in the mall and i stopped and smelled this one we were at the crease and he was smelling colognes and i saw this one and i stopped and smelled it <gasps> oh jesus it was just lovely lovely okay like Oh my gosh. This is the embodiment of a woman. A woman that has this on has an $800 credit score, has her own investment properties, okay? She has a Birkin. She has a Kelly, not a Birkin, Kelly. She has a Kelly. She's a Kelly kind of girl and it's small, very dainty, okay? She's extremely elegant, all right, extremely. When she walks in stilettos, you can hear her from a mile away. Okay, and smell this scent on her for a mile away, okay? The men are gonna be barking over you smelling this, okay? Like, this is top tier. This is a fresh floral scent with key notes of vanilla, Mysore sandalwood, and Bengalian, Bengalian rose. Oh, you guys, can I read? Am I hooked on phonics? Did I really graduate from college? I don't know. Okay, this is another perfume that is made in France. Wee oui, wee. Oui. We 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 yes. You're going to be pregnant with seven kids with this one at the same time. Wearing this, that is horrific. That's horrific. But I'm being honest, it happens. And that is a wrap for the top 11 scents that I highly recommend for you to stay away from if you don't want to be pregnant. Okay, thank God for birth control because I would be pregnant as <laughs> no for real, like pregnant. As Anyway, yes, I hope you guys love this video. Um, I thought this is the perfect video to do because Valentine's Day is coming up in two weeks. So if you're looking for a really good florally scent, girl, I'm, I'm telling you, try one of these perfumes, okay? Because your boyfriend is gonna be all over you, okay? I swear, okay? If you are trying to, you know, conceive and you're trying to get a baby and you're having trouble, wear this. It's gonna get you pregnant, okay? Wear this. I'm telling you, all right? 
Anyway, like I said earlier, I love you guys so much and thank you for watching the video. Leave me some comments down below of some scents that you highly recommend for me to try that are florally or if you have tried any of these perfumes and what do you think about them because these are my top 11 that I wear every single day. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next video. Bye!